Hello, I'm Luca Imesi, I'm a filmmaker and DaVinci Resolve 18 certified trader. This is my first uh, tutorial on uh, YouTube. I'd like to show you how to import uh, Sony XAVC files inside uh, DaVinci Resolve as RAW files. Let's start. If I open Catalyst Browse, Catalyst Browse is a software from Sony completely free and you can download it from the Sony website. I have here a bunch of files and if I go to the last one, for example, this one, my lovely cat John, I can see that here on the metadata I have some uh, information. So the source is as game free scene as log free and uh, the uh, shot in uh, uh, Cine AI mode uh, and uh, base ISO was 800 and the exposure index is 400 and the custom web balance is uh, 5957.0. If I choose to export this file, I can go to export tab and uh, I keep the same settings of my file. So same resolution, same frame rate. And I change the format to XAVC Intra. And if I go here on the render preset, uh, the software suggests me the best match that is uh, XAVC Intra class 300. So I keep this one and I click export. So I click export, the software export the file is uh, quite fast. When uh, I finish the render on the desktop, we have this uh, MXF uh, file. I import my file into DaVinci Resolve. I open Resolve, I take my file and I import inside. I choose to create a new timeline and uh, if I go to the color tab I have this file and uh, you can see that on the camera row tab uh, this file is recognized as row. Now the decode quality is uh, a project setting and the, and the code using project uh, and so let's uh, see uh, what is the project uh, settings for uh, for the row. So I click project setting and if I go to camera row, I can see that here on row profile I have Sony row, the code quality is full res resolve and the code using is project. And this is the project setting for my row Sony file. So white balance is a shot, so I keep the custom white balance uh, uh, of the shot. Color space is scavenged free, scene and gamma as log free. And uh, uh, user camera metadata, I keep the, my exposure and uh, color temperature and tint. Um, as color management, I use uh, color size DaVinci Wire RGB and Thailand color space DaVinci Wild Gamma Intermediate and that with color space Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. I have this file here and if I go to clip, you can see that uh, I have white balance as shot, I have uh, uh, color space and gamma correct, and uh, also my color temperature is the same that uh, I have here on uh, Catalyst Browse and uh, uh, on, on my shot. If I want to color this clip, I use this one, and usually is exposure contrast the first node, then white balance, then the other nodes. And the last one is uh, uh, this uh, color space transform that is uh, from Sony as Gamma 3 Cine to Sony as Log 3, Rack 709, Gamma 2.4. And Tom Mapping is Da Vinci. And apply for the OTF is uh, applied and is checked and also use white point adaptation. Uh, usually with the normal Sony file, I adjust uh, exposure and contrast uh, on uh, with the wheels, with the color wheels, no, right? But with the row tab, I can do it from here. And so I can bring exposure up and down as I like it. I can uh, give more contrast if I want. I can give more saturation and other stuff. What is the advantage? First one, that uh, the adjustment that I made in the camera row 
tab are more precise uh, compared to the one that I do on the uh, on the color wheels tab. Second, XFUC intra are easier to, to handle for uh, editing and uh, color correction. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Ciao.